Spring Garden, one of the oldest single-family residential neighborhoods in Miami, with multiple generations and families living in it since the 1840s. Dr. Ruth Greenfield's grandparents moved into the neighborhood in the 1920s, and the house has been in the family ever since. When they came up, this was a suburb, this area, and they noticed, I don't know how they got here, but probably by horse and wagon, <laughs> but, but they found this area, and uh, they bought it from a mailman, so it was a few years old. The 100-year-old house sat empty for several years until a new generation of Greenfields moved in more than 50 years ago. Charles and his siblings were just children. It's a neighborhood that was really lost in time for a long time, and now it's not so much lost in time. It's, uh, it's been discovered to some extent. Across the street from the Greenfields are two other neighbors, the Priegas family who moved into the neighborhood in the 1970s and the Hand family who moved in about 15 years ago. Both families say the community is very welcoming. Oh, perfect, excelente. Soy amigo de todo por por años aquí. Nunca he tenido problemas ni ellos conmigo ni yo con ellos. Los quiero mucho porque todos son muy buenos. We only have about 200 residences in the neighborhood. I feel like I know most everybody in the neighborhood, and that's unique, um, you know, for Miami. The District 5 neighborhood was designated a historic district in 1997. Without that historic designation, this probably would have been another high-rise neighborhood. But because of the historic designation, we remain uh, the majority single-family homes here. And of course, downtown has come alive in that time. To the south, we're bordered by the Miami River. To the east, the Seabold Canal. And pretty much it's a triangle or a peninsula and to the north it would be uh, Miami Jackson and the Civic Center area. And we're sandwiched right in the middle and it, it is a total oasis for the tree canopy, for the single family neighborhood, for the diversity. And I would say that we are trying, those of us who really care about the neighborhood are really in action to keep it this way. The neighborhood has two parks, Point Park and Greenfield Garden, named after Dr. Greenfield's husband, Arnold Greenfield, a good neighbor who passed away in 1996. And it's, it's a lovely place to spend an afternoon. From the old spring garden to the new, there's so much to see and appreciate, whether you live in the area or just passing through. It's pretty amazing. It's irreplaceable. The single family neighborhood still remains and stands on its own two feet. Spring Garden, there's nothing like my neighborhood.